Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghuveer. Please watch this video till the end and share it with all your friends. Operating system. Yes, this is the subject where a computer science student is going to get a good and deeper visualization and understanding of the computer science. Yes, why? Why it is operating system is very, very useful. And what's the level of understanding you are going to get after completion of this subject? We are going to discuss few points about operating system. Please watch this video till the end and remember those points. Keep those points in your mind. Then start studying operating system. This helps you a lot in understanding the subject. Coming to, to today, sir, let's try to understand. In our last previous videos, we clearly discussed that a computer science student is going to start his start the first subject is uh, with the C programming uh, after C programming in order to improve his coding knowledge uh, after that he starts studying data structures yes after completion of data structures he 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 is going to have a good understanding of the coding uh, no, only coding is not important hardware understanding is also important that's why after completion of C programming one can start studying digital logic design in order to under, understand the hardware side so now coming to after completion of digital logic design one can start studying computer organization and architecture after completion of computer organization and architecture so one is going to have a clear understanding about what a processor means how machine level instructions execute in the processor how memory is organized how processor is going to connect with memory and going to get the data from the memory and how IO devices are interconnected with the processor and memory. This is the level of understanding one is going to have after completion of computer organization and architecture. Yes, this is the time one can start studying operating system. See, you need the concepts of COA, you need the concepts of data structures in order to study the operating system. So after completion of data structures and COA, one can start studying operating system. Let's try to understand why, why you have to study at this point. Uh, operating system. So what's operating system means? Uh, operating system consists of codings, programs, efficient programs to efficiently use hardware resources. That is what operating system means. Uh, Operating system consists of efficient programs to efficiently use hardware resources. You have to understand this point very, very clearly. Efficiently use hardware resources. What's that mean? Efficiently using hardware resources means. Let's try to understand with an example. Suppose you are downloading a video and you are listening to the songs. At the same time, you are going to do chatting. At the same time, you are going to do coding, C programming. Now, you opened a new game. See how many programs are executing in our, in, in, how many prog programs are running in our system. Whose responsibility is that? Which program has to be executed next in the processor? After that, which program has to go into the processor? Who will take this responsibility? This is the responsibility of operating, operating system to manage all those things means if the program is downloading if some if some video is downloading where this video is going to save at what location it is going to save up to what point it has downloaded downloading has been finished what's the remaining amount and if you are listening to the songs same way where the songs are present in what memory location it is there so the, all these responsibilities are taken by operating system. That's why operating system, the concepts of operating system deals with how efficiently we are going to use the hardware resources. So keep this, keep these points in mind, then start studying operating system. Now we are going to understand what's the different sessions we are going to have in operating system in not in detailed. It's a, it's a vague, uh, it's a, it's very light way we are going to with the first session is going to deal with processor and multi-programming. How many programs are executing at a time? How, how the single processor is going to execute all those things, all those programs one after another. 
so different concepts has been uh, discussed in this uh, first session regarding processor and multi programming but you are you you have to concentrate much on the coding side whenever we are going to discuss the concepts uh, after understanding the concepts try to try to visualize the coding part so try to try to write efficient codes how we are we can go to we we can use different data structures whatever the data structures you studied here in this subject how these data structures are helping us to write efficient programs to efficiently use the operating system so your concentration should be on the programming side understand the concept and analyze the coding part analyze the coding part that is what you have to do in the operating system this is very very important point you have to start analyzing whatever the concepts you used in data structures so try to imp uh, apply them try to apply them apply them you will get greater understanding of both coding and hardware part complete computer science now the second session deals with memory management and the third session deals with the file management all these concepts understand the concepts try to write the try to analyze the efficient codes efficient codes how to write the coding for this concepts how to write the coding for these concepts that is what the level of understand the uh, level of uh, thinking you should have when you are studying this subject so file management storing and accessing files video files audio files how they are stored in the uh, hard disk how they are going to be accessed from the hard disk all these concepts will be discussed in the operating system so keep these points in your mind then start studying operating system any subject related to computer science you can visit our uh, uh, channel learning monkey please do subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates thank you